Yeah, that's the thing. He has his own cards that he adds in, too. Uh, okay, I like that, because there needs to be some level of randomization. Yeah. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, everybody. I tried to welcome everyone, and I was just like, fucking guy over here. Alright. So, one thing that does happen, whenever we start a new leg, we lose our equipment, because... That makes sense. Yeah. And so, First up. Well, I guess it's not that disappointing. I guess there's still our meta mechanics of all the cards that you've unlocked. Your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear, but fast flowing. Attempt to cross the river. Alright. Huge success! Shit. Choice. Uh, third one. Yeah. Uh, Water carries away a few of your provisions. The dealer draws you one pain card. Ooh. Lose uh, 30% gold, which is three gold. Oh, no. That's not that bad. We lost one of the tokens because of you. <laughs> Hate you. Mr. Lionel again. We don't need to narrate because Lionel. we already know what he does. Yeah, Ask him what he needs. He gives us a shield. Cool. Oh, wow. So do the cards always play out the same way? Yep. That's kind of nice, but at the same time... It can be really repetitive if you run across it a lot. Yeah. I mean, dangerous in the way that players... It rewards players that memorize the cards rather than players that play well, I guess, right. is a weird way of thinking about it. Right. You hear a shout from up ahead and the sounds of battle. Racing forward, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Two of skulls. Sh Stranger, he calls out as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to those monstrosities. I have a mace. Nice. It's a well, lump of and with this trait, strikes fear to the cold hearts of the undead. It will sustain more damage and may not be resurrected around such holy relics. So is the mace holy? Mm-hmm. How do we know that other than the fact that it just told us? It's got the little... You see where it says press X button to strike enemies? There's the line right below that. It's got the holy symbol. Oh, okay. I was looking at the card... Um, but that makes sense. I guess, I don't know why they didn't have some sort of symbol on the card to represent that as well. Mm. Eh. Continuity. Schmunch, schmunity. Well, the way I'm thinking about it is, I feel like this game should also, like, the cards don't feel like they should work as if it were an actual card game. What the fuck is happening to the ground? <laughs> some weird lighting rendering stuff going on. I think Boom. the shadows are just, like, messed up. I don't know, man. Well, there goes that skeleton. Yeah. Skeleton. Yep. Oh, I, I forgot to mention this. I was at work the other day, and I was like, oh, let me check the last episode of Game Devs and see how it went. Oh, real quick. Good work putting them to rest. Keep the mace. We have enough back at, at Kader. He says, slowly standing, we've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently, and I came to investigate. He stops to look around at all the bone fragments. More of them here than I suspected. Some new horror must have decided to settle in these parts and brought its minions. I must head back to the capital and report this to the Duke. Watch your step, friend. There's something more powerful at work than just these skeletons. This card's token is now yours. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I was watching one of our episodes, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I caught the episode, and I forget what playthrough it was for, but it was one where randomly I was like, gay. <laughs> and I sat there laughing at myself, because like, what the fuck is wrong with me? What the hell? We just went through a whole lot of cards to get there. Alright. Hmm. Stairs! So what happens if you run out of food? Is it just game over and you have to start the adventure? Well, when you run out of food, you lose one health. Ah. Uh, yep. Oh, actually, I don't like that. Why? You should lose more than one health. Well, as far as I know, it's one health. I haven't gotten to that yet. Oh, okay. One but night you lose health is the idea. One night you awaken to find your belongings being rifle rifled with, with by goblins. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away with a piece of your equipment. They have also stolen some of your food and gold. Ah, oh, bitch ass. Bitch ass. Man, dude. Oh, okay, but we can fight him? Yes. I assume it's loading a combat sequence. What's funny is that I think there's a, a, ti a, like a time limit before they try to they open up a portal and they're about to jump through. So you get to stop them before they do that. Huh. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So it's not like just a combat sequence, but it's also sort of like a, a speed, like a race kind of thing. Yep. It's weird because that actually sort of reminds me of some of the challenges we were trying to design in Cobalt Conquest. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty different because it was a, like, turn-point RPG, or turn-based, turn wow, turn-point, turn-based RPG. 
Um, but we wanted to add in a lot of like, you know, mini games or like micro games that kind of like switched it up from time to time. And uh, one of the programmers argued, or the programmer argued with me a lot about including those things because he was saying that, you know, it sort of was contradictory to the rest of the game. It was different, right? Because it was like skill based rather than intellectually based. Um, and in the end, I agreed with him and we just hashed the whole idea. But we we wanted to include that to kind of like make the game really interesting and unexpected in mm -hmm. ways. And that's, in this instance, it's actually pretty refreshing because it's using a system we're already really familiar with, which is the yeah. combat system, and just tweaking it very slightly. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's good design, contrary to what I was going to do, which was bad design. Yeah, we're going to pass by the shop. We don't really need anything. Besides, we only have 22. No, but I wanted to buy food. Traps. Maze of traps. Here's a new encounter. So what do those coins represent? I are those know. the things we unlock in the end? Or? Yes, those are the things that will unlock cards. Okay. Light armor. So then they represent Shoot. unlocks. Yes. And my mace. Also got That's my food of, and gold and all that stuff. A lot of stuff. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Oh my. Oh. Uh, um, all right. Pause. All right. We're back. We're back. We changed some configurations and are. Oh. So, oh my goodness. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. It's a little welcome respite from the consistent combat. Ready? It feels like a proper dungeon, too. Like, yep. I mean, dungeons are full of traps, right? Usually they're a little more hidden. But, you know, this is still pretty cool. It's like a, um... It's like a gauntlet. I don't think that's a good comparison, but... It's a similar idea, I think. Oh. No, I kind of dig this, actually. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's a ah! okay. instead of a like button mashing like combat sequence, it's suddenly something that actually requires what I would think I would argue requires more skill gotcha. to be able to get through. Three game cards, twenty gold. Dang. Twenty five gold. Dang. Fifteen gold. Average of twenty. <laughs> Traps like dormant, you make your way back to safety. Cards token is now yours. Token. Nice! Why, thank you. Oh, is the timer Thanks, right? buddy. The timer's not going. You Thanks, buddy. Bad. Twisted Canyon. This By the way, familiar. episode one was long, uh, specifically so we could get through the tutorial stuff. Yeah. Um, now that we're in the full game, you can expect these episodes to be, you know, 10, 11, or a little bit more, depending on what feels natural. Mm. We want to make sure it gets to a decent ending point. Right, right, Get exactly. Of the canyon, draw one weapon card. What did I get? So many cards. Desperate measures. I this like that. This inflicts more damage the lower the health of the wielder is. It's also holy. I've always been conflicted about those types of abilities and or weapons. Yeah. Um, because it requires you to be damaged in order to be fully useful. But well, at the same time, it keeps you alive longer when you, now all you need um, find normally wouldn't. Right. Devil's choice. There's a token in it for a cloaked you devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Three of dust, two of dust, two of dust. Fuck it. We're just three douchebags. Oh, okay, so <laughs> the number is straight. how many enemies there are? Oh. Since that is whom you wish to fight, I think today I shall make you fight the others instead. Just <laughs> Okay, that's kind of clever. Alright, I like that. So are you fighting four then? Yep. Oh. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is that blob? Is that blob? Uh, it looks like a null reference uh, texture. Uh. Maybe it'll freak, again. freak out. Don't freak out again. I swear, man. If it freaks out again, it's not my Oh, it's computer. a little lava, it's lava thing. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't really understand what was going on with the hardware there, or the, or even just the game. I, it's possible that it was the computer, but this is the first game we've actually had issues with. Yeah. 
I um, think Dark Souls was fine on this. Yeah, right? So, I mean, that's... The, even game development-wise, it's something that's really, really hard to accommodate. Oh. It's uh, different computers and different configurations. Yeah. And uh, is this an indie game? Uh, yeah, actually. So, especially for indie developers, they don't really have the resources to, like, uh, hardware test their, their games. They don't have the means of getting, like, you know, 300 different computers and testing it on each of them. Right. Um, they pretty much have to just use whatever's at their disposal and whatever they can afford. What do you expect me to say? That's why I think a lot of mobile testing is popular. If you develop for iOS, you basically just have to make sure it works on three different kinds of phones and you're good. Oh, that's kind of cool. Or one iPad. Sure. Oh, the Tinker. May as well go. We have a lot of money. She had a growth of being really fine child and merchant looking cherry with one of your ventures. Tinker sold items of all descriptions. Nice English there. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. What are you buying? Your health is low. Do you have any potions or food? What's that from? Fable. Is it really? Yep. I know, because in the second one, they made a reference to that phrase. They say in the fall of the Guild of Heroes, they found the Guildmaster lying dead with the phrase... Your health is low, carved into his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Healing terrible. He receives is doubled. Healing cap. I already have medium armor now. Explorer's helmet. Reveal stairs encounter upon entering a level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level. Um. Let's do that. So I do really like the variety of, like, special abilities and, and kind of, like, different mechanics in this game. Yeah. Um, I know we've sort of said this already, but like, variety in a game like this I think is essential because otherwise it just becomes redundant, right? Yeah. Um, and I think choosing it as a card structured game with reusable environments allowed them to spend more time making a more diverse um, set of like things, yeah. mechanics oh. in the game. Um, which is actually really cool. It's, I think it, it's a smart decision on their part to have built it that way. Mm. I'm fighting five. Oh shit. Oh dang. Oh shit. Oh. Got it. Oh no I don't. Fuck. All the way to the right. Ah. Oh, well done. Take the vice prize. Suddenly you leap into the fray, taking one of them down before they can even react. Bam, huge success. I'm gonna discard the three and just deal with two. Boom. Oh, you dis. Oh, I thought it was like one enemy. It gets rid of a whole card. That's nice. That's kind of handy. It is very handy. Medium armor. So I assume there's no experience or anything in this game. It's just like... No, not really. I mean, not that it's it all... really needs it. Right. Um, in, in, a, in a way, it's almost kind of like a adventure roguelike card game. Yeah. Although I guess in some roguelikes you do level up, but I don't know if classic rogue had levels or experience. Mm. It might oh. have. I don't remember. Then he finishes with a shield bash. It just looks every, brutal. Every time you do that, I'm worried that that's you, and I'm like, no, you died! Yeah. <laughs> you loot the room. <laughs> yeah! Free game cards. No. Nice. One equipment. Another medium armor. Medium armor. Yeah. Hey, it's another shield. Yeah, boy. Oh, well, good. There's another shield. Hey, we need food. 15% max health. Whoa! That's actually Boom. really cool. And we get the... Wow, 15% is a huge difference. Yeah. Bandit Shit. attack. Well, we'll deal with these bandits in the next episode. We'll see you there. It's a terrible out. Really? <gasps> that was the bonus scene. That last part just no. turned into a lawnmower. <laughs> You're done. You're done. Shut up. Pieces dumb. No, it's not. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>